Hey y'all, if it's one thing I have learned uh, my years walking this earth, it's that many, many, many black folk love to be lied to. Um, for instance, um, Super Sly recently did uh, a live stream on what we could learn from Jeffrey Dahmer. And uh, I believe he has not moved that stream to Patreon. And if he hasn't, I will leave the link in the description box. He got a lot of pushback from that stream um, because he had mentioned that a lot of men, a lot of his, well, his victims basically brought uh, their end upon themselves by being sexually reckless. And uh, I absolutely agree. Um, <clears throat> Sly, uh, Truth, and Nick get a lot of hate and kickback because uh, they just tell it like it is flat out. It's one of the things that I love about all three of them. Um, <clears throat> and um, like I said, a lot of Black folks love to be lied to. So I agree. And I'm here to give Sly his flowers tonight. I came across an article and I couldn't wait to share it. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, Fly, Sly gets his flowers tonight. So here we go, y'all. Woman allegedly bound, slashed, and choked new tender date and then ordered DoorDash. You see this little girl right here? Okay. <clears throat> this little girl right here. Let's go. A 22-year-old woman was arrested after she allegedly taped up her nude tender date cut him multiple times, and then ordered takeout. Let me, okay, there we go. As reported by Law and Crime, Lauren Marie Dooley was charged with one felony count each of secondary kidnapping, second degree assault, and menacing. According to the affidavit, Officers from Colorado Springs Police Department responded to a call for assistance on September 28th. The 21-year-old male victim called authorities and said he was bleeding all over the bed and could be heard by a dispatcher telling a woman in the background that he was bleeding because she cut him. Upon our arrival, residents at the apartment <laughs> advised that there was a naked male in the parking lot that needed help. The affidavit reads, officers located the victim who was naked and appeared to be bleeding from a laceration on his left arm. He was also actively backing away from the suspect, Dooley, who appeared to have blood smeared on her arms and hand. The victim exclaimed that Lauren tied him up and cut him. Following her arrest, Dooley invoked her Miranda rights and refused to cooperate with police. The victim said he met to Dooley on Tinder and agreed to go to her apartment. When he arrived, they spoke briefly before she took off his clothes and performed oral sex. Then she then used duct tape to bind his wrists and ankles together. The affidavit continued. While the victim said he found it odd, he consented to being taped up. However, when Lauren produced a kitchen knife, and demanded he go into her bedroom, he no longer consented to staying at the residence. And um, yeah, it doesn't say so here, but this was a black man that she did this to. Um, I chose this article from Complex because it had uh, it had more information than the local um, than the local news from Colorado Springs. The man said that that's when the date became violent. He agreed out of fear that she might hurt him, and then she proceeded to use the knife to cut his left shoulder. After this, she applied pressure to his throat for almost half a minute, later placing a belt around his neck for a further 20 minutes. Then she took off the belt. She checked for a pulse. Dooley forced him into the bathtub and proceeded to order food from DoorDash. She told him that if he screamed when the delivery person arrived, she would kill him. Dooley later got into bed with him, pulled a blanket over him and fell asleep. He was able to escape because 
she left the knife near his feet, which allowed him to cut the tape around his wrists and ankles. While he woke her up during his escape, he was able to leave her apartment and call for help. The police arrived at the scene. When the police arrived at the scene, excuse me, they discovered a kitchen knife, several blood-soaked rags, and blood in the bathtub. Um, <clears throat> there's other articles, like I said, um, about this on the internet, but this had more details about the way she tortured this young man. So she, he didn't know her. They met on Tinder, but he agreed to go to her house. And why is that? I mean, do we really have to say? So when Sly did that stream and he said that they didn't, you know, and we all know that these men didn't know Jeffrey Dahmer, but they agreed to go back to his apartment. And why was that? And what happened to them? This the young man could have been killed. This girl is a monster. She's sick. Look at her. <sighs> we bring our grief upon ourselves. Y'all need to stop loving lies and spewing hatred to people who tell you the truth. Now, those of y'all who got mad at Sly for telling you the truth need to run right back to his stream and apologize for him being right. Good night, everyone.